Okay. Alright, alright. Here comes the audio. Yeah, okay, I guess the audio is alright. Uh, also here. Hmm. Uh, not done with boots. Ah, it's the name of the outfit. Why Phantom? Ah, oh, yeah, I can't get a Kirara for free. They yeah, already have. Uh, oh, what's that? Check on letter. Letter paper, but they the magical flow. Find your one. Craft the Q with the with this inhale, elegant influence words shall flow over the page in the code, write detailed description of just location and simply hint the location of treasure. Ah okay, this shows me everything in the Sri Lanka. Okay, yeah, this will be helpful after oh uh simply hinting at the location of treasure. The text is a certain area effect. Uh, so yeah, you can detect all except of please. All right. Yeah, that, that's for after the story. Once I'm actually uh, exploring the whole place. Uh, here. Ah, narration footnotes. That's the one I. The one with QR. Okay. Figurines. I can check them here. Oh yeah, there. It's that frog said that was one in each area. And yeah, those are uh, uh, challenges or something. Uh, okay, so this should be the quest. Uh, yeah. Staring into my eyes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back there. Uh, oh yeah, I was up there. No, I have to go around. Is that inside the castle? Mm, is this on the street or up there? I don't really remember. Okay. Ah, uh, let me open the map. Okay, just a sec. Okay, I think everything's set up now. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, ah, now I have that. Yeah, okay, good. Ah, they're here. Can I talk to you? Oh, there's a glow there. I'm trying to check what's the glow. It's just to tell me I can interact. That's usually something I can investigate. Okay, that's where I stopped yesterday. This picture sign on uh, the what's the name? Golden Apple Archipelago, didn't I? Message from a city residence for okay. 
I was originally planning to take a pickaxe to the titanium mountain, but it was too heavy. There aren't any good spots to hide things around here. How about somewhere near the seats in the station? Ah, uh, so there's something hidden near the seats. But I think there'll be a cutscene. Carriage inspection, check. Wheel and axle inspection, check. Power inspection. Um, what's the power you guys have? Good morning, Is Mr. Wheel. Just whining? Oh, good morning, heroes of Simulanka. You're the same guy. Hey, our old friend Wheel is the trains. driver again. <sighs> that already puts by my at ease. Are you certain you don't want us to accompany you, Your Majesty? I am. You can leave the dragon slaying to us. My partner's a pro. He does it all the time. I've only fought two or three. Uh, hang on. One, three, four. I'm actually unsure now. Does Ozio count as a dragon? He does, right? Short, I think what four. What remarkable friends your majesty has. With such great heroes by your side, I'm sure you'll best the dragon with ease. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then. Look after the city for me while I'm gone. Yes, your majesty. Just leave it to us. I think we're all set. Time to depart. <laughs> Next stop, the end of the world! I can't wait here. Uh, ah, uh, that. Laid bare. Yeah, I guess what's that? Oh. Uh huh. This is my final treasure. <laughs> I will enjoy finding it. Uh, next, I like to go to the end of the world down by the sea. Maybe there will be somewhere deeper there to have my treasure. Hmm. Did, yeah, I know we have the other quest with Kirara, but aren't we kind of teaching her? Actually, we're supposed to meet with her after doing things around uh, Constellation Metropole. So this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. Ooh, you're really easy to please, Navia. Well? Hmm. Looks like the fog ahead is getting thicker. Attention, passengers! We've arrived at the transfer point. All change, please, all change. So we've got to switch trains, right? Huh? What's that? No, that again. Hmm. It looks like Haley Turtles, they've taken over that platform! Wow, it would be so huh? hard to defeat them. What do we do? Just find somewhere to hide, Mr. Wheel. We'll take care of them. Stabilize! Oh. Transfixed! Actually, you guys have never attacked me while I was sitting. 
What happens? Come on, it's troll. Okay. Predictable, but that never happened before to me. That's all of them. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now, let me take a look at the train. Hmm. The carriage is a little scratched up, but there doesn't seem to be any real damage. And the engine's still operating normally, so I think we're good to go. It has an actual Wonderful. engine. Wonderful. Let's keep going then. Uh, yeah, this star won't advance, but I could go walking, right? There's oh. fires coming from the woods. If only you have paragliders. Wow, that's high. Oh, it's the end of the world. Makes sense. Go forth and witness this world, my... Make sure to be nice to everyone. I leave it to you. Are you okay, Miss Nilu? I'm fine, but hmm? I think the Traveler is still unconscious. We're lucky this guy caught us on the way down. <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. Oh, cut him yeah. some slack. The traveler's had a rough few days. We should just let him nap for a bit. Uh, but my... My leg's falling asleep. <laughs> you couldn't have set him down on the grass over there, Hakai? <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> ah, he's awake! Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, it was kind of adorable. That's really weird coming from him. What happened? You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall. And you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Yeah, that doesn't make Sorry sense. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of uh, set you down in Nilu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. P Paimon! Sorry. Oh, no. It's all right. I... I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? I feel a lot better, but it seemed like someone was talking in my head just now. Really? What did they say? Go forth and witness this world, be nice to everyone, be excellent to each other. The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, mm. it's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some while you were freaking out on your way down. No, oh, he also didn't change uh, clothes. Traveler, Nilu, do you know this hat guy person? Oh yeah, he's a student at the Academia. We met during the last Interdarshan Championship. He was representing the Vahumana Darshan. I didn't remember well, you were then. there. Hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just call you Hat Guy as well? Seems like that's what everyone's calling you. Sure. Whatever. Wait, Hat Guy. What's that sword around your waist? <laughs> An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. 
I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it, but no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. How do you know it's, it's the hero what? sword? The hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. How did what? you got the name? You're the hero of this world? Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. Oh, uh, it's just that this entire time, we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. I'm good, actually. No, I kind of want to keep the search. That's not the point! The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. But look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. Huh. Paimon's guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here. That's what happened with Navia and Nilu, at least. <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Hey, wait, where are you going? To find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Uh, Where? A dragon scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And... Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. You little... Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! Uh, where? I don't even know what it looks like. Uh, what about the uh, Mr. Will? In the world, some normal birds, normal squirrels. Oh, uh, colorful tile blocks you can occasionally see by the road. Approach and use the interaction button to pick up and carry blocks with ease, but don't get too far from the main body of the toy. While equipped, hold the attack button to enter a splicing mode. At this time, you can move the toy building blocks and glowing connection points before releasing the attack button to complete the splicing. When close to the installation point, you can quickly press that button to easily complete the splice. It seems okay. I mean, it sounds cool, but it's all predetermined slots, right? Where is... Oh, I'm out of the area. Oh, hang on, I saw a guy... Ah, that's the area here. Uh, I guess around here. Ah, no, I just saw the color of this guy from afar. I thought it could be Mr. Will. Toy bombs can be directed with by pressing to pick them up. There's some special titanium blocks to destroy them. Uh, maybe that's what I have to do. Oh. 
Maybe we should try to talk to the first. Ah, oh, but that's probably what I need. Okay. Close be cleared. Alright. This should do it, right? Wow, this scale is amazing! It turns everything it touches into something hard, almost like a toy block! It doesn't seem to work on us, though. It spews out poison and transmutes everything it touches. Huh. No wonder they call it the evil dragon. Your Majesty! Madam Fairy! Brave hero! Who are we, then? <sighs> what are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you. Mr. Wheel! You didn't get hurt when we fell, did you? Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. Why did he lend it to get her the bus? There seems to be a village over here. Some of the residents used to work in the Titanium Mines, and some came to fight the dragon, then got stuck here. I see. I'm glad they're all safe and sound. I can try to use my magic to fold a boat to bring everyone back. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon first. We don't want it to start causing trouble when we're trying to load people onto the ship. Apparently, the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. Uh, they think that's the location of its lair. Hmm. Then we should look around and try to find a way in. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. Your Majesty, brave heroes, please be careful. I thought he would be. Up. Oh, uh. Where? Up. Oh, uh, I thought that would be higher. But up there. Probably gonna break that. No. D. Okay. Um. Okay, I can climb there. Huh. Huh, cute. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, I thought we'll pull this one. of bounty. Oh. Right there. Oh, I thought I'd stop you. the dragon scale. How do you know these things? Wait, wait! No. <laughs> Paimon doesn't need to ask you anything. Um, the dragon scale can turn anything it touches into toy blocks, so... <gasps> Aha! You want to use it to block off the water! See? Paimon can figure things out all on her own. Use the feather I will escape, block the waterfall. Oh, but there are no new kinds of people uh, or beings here. I thought this new area will have. There were the paper people, the type people, I thought that would be something different.
broken C. Uh, oh, it kind of looks like in a zoom. Uh, Oh, we found him here. He's from Inazuma. We found Naga here. It looks like Fountain. We found Nilo here. It looks like Sumeru. Well, and Kirara is just all over the place. Oh, but those are the three places we. I not. I don't remember if we've seen her in Inazuma, but she's from there. And we seen her in Somero and Fontaine. Yeah, what's Kira doing here? She's not part of the main quest. What are we doing here? We apparently aren't part of the main quest. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Come on, aren't I supposed to just press? <sighs> Come on, I'm close to it. <sighs> Don't slight. Oh, there's something wrong. Ah, I need to hold. Ah, okay. Find time matches. There are missing match heads. You can use red type blocks to replace them. Use power alongside these match heads to light the matches. So dark. That sounds a bit dangerous for wooden people. Back from the brink. Can you please take this? What? Hey. Impressive bounty. <laughs> hey, I'm doing fine. What's up? I actually have them because uh, they are the last ones I got. I'm always equipping. The less, Nothing. Uh, it's I just. Locked. I sensed a very powerful magical signature just now. Huh. Guess this is the dragon's lair after all. Huh? When did you put your hat on? Oh, well, we're getting ready notice. to fight, aren't we? I feel more comfortable in my regular outfit. Hat guy also put away that sword around his waist. Oh, I should have never had couldn't. to use this thing to begin with. Do. Do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Paimon's getting kind of nervous seeing everyone else serious like this. Uh, I'm good. Let's go. Do we need a calm, a domain inside a separate map already? Could just be. Another area inside of it. <laughs> ah, and we got them in the party. <laughs> okay, that's oh, why. Oh, looks like we're not the first ones to make it in here. Charge will be the evil dragon. Wait, hold on. Let's fight the dragon together. Oh, let me try. <laughs> Oh, that's new. Well, maybe not new, but I can explore enough. What's that sound? Is it an earthquake? I... Uh, where'd they go? <sighs> oh. Reckless idiots. I agree with him. What about over there? Well, this is a domain. I may not be able to get back in here, so... Let's explore whatever I can. Oh, I can't. <gasps> oh, they're not in a straight. So dark. Um, Watch out! 
the seat. Yes, stop. doesn't actually it just pushed me oh there's the fight already such a short domain oh oh And we can climb because this is a domain. Yeah. Huh. This space is completely empty. I'm on bet this is where the dragon sleeps. Watch out in front! It's coming! Hmm. Cool. Reminds me of Paper Mario. Oh. Should do something as well. The drone is made of toy, but it seems like it's breaking its dimension. Uh, as the ground beneath your crum feet crumbles away, you feel sense of weightlessness as you fall to the black mist below. Seems to break the Look, he's here. fabric of space. Ah, oh, another like new the soul house. has joined this world. But, are you sure his fate will be as you described? Of course. My predictions are never wrong. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said, and let him find his own story within your fairy tale. <laughs> You're right. Then listen closely, my child. Your name is... Oh, what is this place? Is that water? 
Oh, it started next. It started inside the castle. Above constellation metropole. It's it's the dragon! The dragon that destroyed the titanium mines! Help! Help! Soldiers! Pick up your weapons! Destroy that monster! So I'm not fighting anymore. Uh, huh? uh, uh. <sighs> How many times am I going to have to save you? Thank you, hat guy. Paimon uh, still feels dizzy. Hey, did any of you also see something strange? It was like we were witnessing... The dragon's memories. Sounds like we all saw the same thing just now. Well, we definitely saw a different side to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. This world might be a lot more complicated than we thought. The next time we encounter the dragon, how about we try talking to him instead of fighting? That sounds like a good plan. But maybe we should figure out where we ended up first? The dragon will start attacking us. We didn't do huh. anything yet. If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of the book. Uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind. Do we have a map? No, we're still in there. The prophesied hero or sage. We talk about him. Uh, if you're in trouble, try this. The wind rises. Yeah, we're the freaking hero. We don't need that. Behold. Here I am. That day, the giant dragon is here. Oh. I didn't notice we're huge. During this strength potion protects everyone. A 
What are you doing here? Is that a trap? Looks like a trap. The wind rises. Dragon appears somewhere. I heard the noise, but I. Ah, I thought I could see next to you. Quick run. Ah, there it is. You shouldn't enter here. You shouldn't be here. He seems angry. We just want to talk to you. Don't get any closer. Okay, a dragon on a bridge. Will there be an axe to the other side? Seen the water with us. Not that I'm complaining, but they're forcing him with us. We don't really need all that. Ah, oh, no, it's that guy over there. Okay. I didn't see you here. Just up ahead, stay sharp. Oh, oh, mm. It was destroyed by that evil dragon. The, the stars! It flew away with the Metropole stars! Oh no! We. We didn't get eaten by the dragon? The dragon just dropped us off here? Why was it cutting off? I wasn't Hi, guys. pressing anything. <laughs> He's just up ahead. Is he trying to lure us somewhere? Well, I'd say we were the ones who backed him into a corner. But we just want to ask him a few questions about his past. He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me, his reaction is perfectly normal. Maybe there's still something we can do to calm him down? I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just a warning, but now, he's actually getting serious. 
prepare for a final battle. Sometimes, it takes a little force for someone to finally wake up. Hmm. Let's defeat the evil dragon this time. What are you saying? The dragon didn't hurt you guys. Oh, look at all my bodies in following my commands. My part is gone. You okay there? Oh, that kind of reminds me of the surf bots from Mega Man Legends. Man, I gotta play that game again. Oh, got our hands on some explodes. What was the other saying? Please stay safe. You want to put explosive here for what? Can break those. Oh, close it. Oh, stubborn beast. You really want to get beat up that bad? Stop. If I had to take that to him. Oh. Are we really okay. gonna have to throw a bomb in its mouth? Poor guy. I thought I had to take the bomb to that guy. Oh no, you just wanted the glowing blocks that are around. That just happens to be one right in front of him. Watch out! If you fall, you're on your own this time. Hmm. Wait, what? No. Almost dead. Suppliers will fight alongside you. Uh, okay, I didn't see one of those before. When your reinforcements arrive, or are you all guys brought here by the dragon? Too slow. Quit following me. Look, they were small. What do I do with it? If I wait there for the bridge to break, Just wait for one of the doctors to appear. Of course, the dragon walking the part of the cutscene because its limbs are detached and it floats. Where did Delta come from? Oh, he's getting serious. Don't get hit. You're dead. Oh. Now. 
Looks like I have to open the mouth. Looks like the poisonous cloud he left at sea once. Are we inside the black mist? Oh, you? I see something up ahead. Are you sure you want to create this child, M? Even after what I told you about his fate? <sighs> He will be abandoned by his creator, and eventually... I know, B. You've told me already. That sad story with the disappointing ending. It's what happened in the real world, isn't it? But that's exactly why I want to change things. In a different world, his story can have a happier ending. That child, his heart is so full of love. Oh, so I all understand, you. Anya, but know that if you give him that name, his fate in Simulanka is destined to parallel that of his real world namesake. But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, but I have to try. He deserves a better life. Although, he might need the help of others when the time comes. All right, my dear. The choice is yours. Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. <sighs> More boring fate talk. Uh, the secrets sound like an interesting part for you to cut them off. Hmm. Well, uh, it's kind of same, man. Okay. I'm sorry, my child. Unlike my friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than the fairy tales in this book. So I will have to leave your side, I'm afraid. What's Dragon's name? It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Once I'm gone, I will become a star in Simulanka and watch over you from above. If you ever feel lonely, just look up towards the sky. Uh. <laughs> Go forth and witness this world, my child. Make sure to be nice to everyone. You'll meet good friends one day. I'm sure of it. That is my wish for your future. As for this world, I leave it to you. <laughs> So in the end, you're betrayed too. Mm. 
Hm? Hey, Mr. Dragon. Hey, brought you some food. You must be hungry. Oh, is the drum going? So you're hated by people too. What exactly is that? It's so. So that's it. That's really your wish? To never have been born at all? That's not a fate you should wish for. Nobody can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. Sure, we have a bit of us. Are you guys all right? Yep, all thanks to Kirara. What about the guy that flies? In Constellation Metropole, I heard people saying you'd gone to fight the dragon, so I followed you here. Right when I managed to catch up, I saw you fall through that hole. Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Shouldn't we do something? Oh, yeah, that guy. Well, he <laughs> can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He called the dragon something earlier. It sounded like he said... Durin. That's his name. Oh, hat guy. You're okay. Wait. What about the dragon... Durin? He's fine. Durin. Oh, wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragonspine, right? The one that became a part of the mountain after being slain by Dvalin? If Paimon remembers correctly, it was created by... Gold Rina Daughter. I don't know if that's how it's right. pronounced. It was created by Rhine Daughter. Rhine Daughter. Hmm. Okay. Created, you say? <sighs> so, what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. <sighs> and it tells you about what he saw in the beast. So, that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. Everything I heard during my fall must have been 
been said to Turin in the past. Huh. I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded, but I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Titania mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, You are the hero of this world. Now go forth and save the dragon. Huh. Who is the person behind this voice anyway? And why did they bring us all here? Come with me. The answer to all this can be found below. So, you just fly us all down there, or... Okay, it was kind of useless to be saved from the fall. Hey, hey, it's... Star she mirrors the travel spire during... Shouldn't we have a Diwali and an Albedo here as well? a study? That's right. It belongs to the Goddess of Fate. Goddess of Fate? As in one of the three goddesses who created Simulanka? Or more precisely, M. One of the mages of the Hexen Zirkle. Hexen Zirkle? As in... Sorry, Paimon shouldn't just yeah. regurgitate everything you say, it's just... It's a lot to take in! She created the story of Durin. Well, the Simulanka version at least. These records should cover most of what you want to know. Including the identities of the other two goddesses. Read them for yourselves. Well, there are other stuff. Oh, journal? By all rights, I should oh. have been A, since A is the first and last letter of my name. But Alice overruled me on the basis of seniority and said I should be M instead because of my middle name. <laughs> she really knows how to push my buttons. Still, her magic never fails to amaze me. I still can't believe she got one of my origami frogs to start talking. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't I write a story with origami animals as the main characters? Let's see. Once upon a time, in a magical forest, there lived a group of animals made of paper. Barbie loves looking into the future, so she used her powers to map out the fates of all living things in Simulanka. But knowing the ending in advance takes all the fun out of the story. I think I'll make a bet with her. I believe that one day, the people of Simulanka will decide to carve their own destiny. Oh, apparently, she wants to build a statue of herself in the capital city. <laughs> Always looking to add some pizzazz. Okay, uh, one. I can get here already, no? I to read that close first. My dear sisters, I fear my pen shall soon run dry. Even now, as I write this letter to you, my dexterity is all but failing me. Thank you for enjoying my stories and for creating this world for me. The time we spent together was the most wonderful youth I could have asked for. <laughs> I always feel so young when we're together. A says that even after I'm gone, the goddess of fate in Simulanka will continue to exist and carry on granting people's wishes. It makes me glad. If you ever want to chat, Feel free to pay a visit to the goddess statue. Just don't wish for anything weird. Hmm. 
It's uh -huh. Simulonka Duran. And he's looking up at something. A star. This must have been after M passed away. This looks like... a mine. Maybe... the Toitania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Yeah. And now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. The Forest of Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. Hmm. But then the star broke itself with the miners huh. mining. That statue looks different from the one in the Metropole. It's a different goddess. This one is the goddess of fate. It's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. I don't understand why you say that. I'm the one who hurts people. Don't say that, Durin! Paimon made a mistake. She was wrong about you. But it's nice to talk, isn't it? Now that we've all calmed down? No, it's pointless. Maybe you're willing to talk to me, but the world above is still terrified of me. So that's why you made that wish? <sighs> so stupid. Hey! Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. You just want to make friends, people to play with, to talk to, people who accept you, or at least accept your apology. Very mm, true, but, but I'm not sure the people seem longer are prepared for such a gigantic next door neighbor. Oh, you've never heard anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Sure, you scared a bunch of people half to death, but that's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you really are. Yeah, if you had a heart to heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and see your point of view. What's the point? As long as I'm cursed with this body, I'll never be able to live alongside them. Everything I touch should be turned into time blocks. Anywhere I have food reduced to a barren wasteland. So you just get an area for yourself and people come visit you instead of you going to visit them. Is there no way for them to coexist even if they come to an understanding? Hmm. The curse. Huh? Milu? Is it your true wish to live side by side with the people of Simulanka? Yes, it is. Then close your eyes and make a wish to the goddess of fate. We will help make your wish come true. But how? Just trust me. <sighs> I, Nilu, the Forest Fairy, give to you my blessing 
and welcome you as a dweller of the forest. Wait, that's... May everyone accept you as that's... one of our own. And may the Forest of Blessings be a place you can call home. I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too! As the, uh, Nekomata in Boots of this world, I give you my blessing too. What's her point in the story? There is a line there coming together. Wait, what's going on? Shouldn't we and the wonder do something as well? This must be the magic power of words. <sighs> I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. May you find acceptance in this world. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend, I wish you all the best for the future. How's am I? You big softy. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill, no matter where you go. That's nice at all, but why can't we go to a flashback As or for this world, Leyline Disorder with the real Diva Turi? Is that a pet? <gasps> Does can this we take mean? the baby bus? <laughs> wow, you look so cute. Quite a radical transformation. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the way you looked before, of course. It's just... Uh, you get what I mean. How do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Does anyone have a flower with them? Or... Even just some water or paper from this world! Oh, I do actually! Here you go! They're... They're not changing! I can touch things without changing them! Hey, that's great! One more flying friend for Paimon! Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm... But... What about all the things that I did before? That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground. Or help the people around the broken sea get home. Okay. And you'll come along and help me, right, Pat Guy? Huh? Why would I do that? Uh, because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little... <sighs> well, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? But I thought... Come on, heck, guy. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll go with you. Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. Oh, thank you! You're the first friend to call me by my name! <sighs> Let's go back up. I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> I want to be so insistent. Yeah, okay. Paimon <laughs> just never thought we'd see the day, that's all. Alright, let's also head back up then. Uh... Don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your blessings, everyone! Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time! But it does look like something we could take a look at us. Can we get the Pokémon? 
Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! <laughs> street Lamp? Oh my! You mean you still don't remember me after all the times we've spoken? I know that voice! It's Mom's friend! That is... Hello there, traveler and friends. And Durin, it's good to see you. You've changed quite a lot. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. <laughs> Mini Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. Changed me. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. Are you the goddess of creation? <sighs> yep. That's right. But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution toward the founding of this world. If you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So enchanting that I just had to step inside and explore it for real. So I got B involved and with M's consent created the world of Simulanka. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're getting a little ahead of yourself! First things first! Would you mind explaining what you're doing here? In fact, no! What are we even doing here? <laughs> Don't worry. All will be revealed. After Isn't everything you accomplished on your journey, Sorry. you're free to ask me anything you want. Hmm. She just asked. Let's start with your first question, then. I'm here because I sensed a great magic power emanating from the book just now, and I couldn't resist the urge to peek inside and check it out. That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessings, right? Yes, exactly. In the world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spell. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Uh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say fate works in mysterious ways. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the goddess of fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful people were holding a copy of M's fairy tale at that exact moment. And That's because of your noble and kind age. souls, you were selected by the goddess of fate to come and save this world. Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluv Sandra. I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. Oh, we did come and say hi. <laughs> Yellow was here before us. Wow, what a crazy coincidence. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got assigned to roll except us? Because we were also... Yeah, that was it. We just received a strange book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found ourselves here. You're the one who sent it to us, aren't you? Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes, that does sound like me, doesn't it? Why did you send us here? Hmm, good question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story, it simply had to be read by someone. As the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place pass you by? I can sense that your blessing for Minnie Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? Yeah, that's it right. Does. In fact, back when we were first creating Simulanka, M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. That sounds like this so, place could become in other permanent. Words, the predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one way or another. Wait, so even if the people here get to go to other worlds, surely there's gotta be a way we can leave too, right? Yeah, we're doing that all the time. <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? Huh? 
You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea or touch the giant bookmark at the Cliff of Prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. How were we supposed to know that if you never told us? Huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem for you. As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the Goddess of Fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed in the story. She's Em's reflection, after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares Em's love for cliffhangers. Anyway, I think that answers your questions, yes? What do you all plan to do next? I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that, I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Mm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, Paimon's suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. I, for one, plan to explore it a little longer. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should invite some other friends to join you, too. Mm. By the way, Mini Durin, I'm delighted to see you've made some new friends. I'm sure Em would be very proud of you. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories Em used to tell. <sighs> She's gone. Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of Minnie Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Ugh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. Whoa! Look over there! Wow. The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Durin from the three goddesses of this world. Yeah, huh? what about the broken eyelids there? Thank you, Mom. It doesn't Alice usually send uh her daughter just place like that and it makes sense for albero to be accompanying her and meet this theory but the theory from tivat isn't doesn't have wings like well oh uh, yeah we don't really have a nice idea of its whole body. Just a cave here. Yeah, okay, it could have like large wings and stuff. Wait two days later. Uh, after tomorrow. Let's go morning. Of the stars moving. I didn't notice they. I noticed they moving during a cutscene. I didn't notice they moved all along. It's been a while since our last adventure. Oh, hmm. Paimon wonders how many Durin is getting along in Simulanka. Let's go to the Forest of Blessings and take a look. Here's your two magic tonics. Invited more people. Why, thank you, young lady. And might I add that you're looking quite lovely today. Jean, come on, take a seat and let's have a drink. 
I ordered one for you as well. That's sane. Uh, but is this really appropriate? I mean... Still worried about Klee? <laughs> Relax. Albedo's with okay, her. Okay, so She'll be fine. she's around. Oh, look who it is. The Traveler and Paimon. You must be the pleasant surprise that Miss Alice told us about. Greetings to you both. This is one place I didn't expect to run into you two. The locals here have been talking non-stop about some brave heroes who saved the world. Let me guess. You two have been up to your old tricks. Well, not just us. We only play the small part. You could say we were two members of the Heroes Adventure Team. Still sounds mighty impressive to me. As ever, our honorary knight is making us proud wherever they roam. Did I hear talking about Alice and Clee? That's right. We received a letter of invitation from Miss Alice, proposing that we take Clee for a vacation in Fairyland when work dies down. I wasn't sure what she meant by Fairyland at first, but if my eyes are not deceiving me, Bye. she was being quite literal. Klee ran off excitedly as soon as we arrived. <sighs> I'm a little worried about her, but Albedo insisted he would look after her while we do our own thing. We could hardly say no to such a considerate offer, so I took it upon myself to bring Jean to the nearest tavern we could find. Any excuse for a drink, huh? Yeah, I could probably go for that and not notice it's <laughs> Well, we are on vacation. It's only fair that we get to indulge ourselves a little. <laughs> You're right. I should make an effort to relax and unwind. It's what Miss Alice would want, after all. Oh, wait, Kaya? What exactly did you order from the bar? The house special, of course. Hmm. Best way to get a taste of the local culture. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making that face, Paimon? Amused by your lifestyle, that's all. Go on, drink up. Hmm. Something tells me I need to tread carefully here. Let's see. It's got a lovely color, but how about the taste? <coughs> 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 hmm. <laughs> hmm. I think maybe I'll pass, but it's such a shame to waste it. <laughs> All right, Paimon. Well played. Well, Paimon got burned too, if it's any consolation. It's nothing personal. No, it is personal. Oh, by the way, we that. weren't the only ones who got invited here. I saw Kale earlier. Oh. She didn't see me, though. She was making a beeline for that big tree. So there's a bunch the of people now here. Breezes and bells, you mean? Oh, this is turning into a huge reunion. Maybe we should go say hi to her. Yeah. All right. Did she well, give her it? my regards. Oh, uh, we would do enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Enjoy your time here too. Hey, Kali knows them, but does she know Alice? So the magic tonic here is just writing ink. What a weird and wonderful world. Ah, Miss Citrus. Do you happen to serve any beverages here that don't contain magic tonic? Of course we do. What flavor would you like? Hmm. Sunsetia. Jean, you want in? <laughs> sure. I'll have the same, please. Hmm. Sounds good. Two Sunsetia drinks coming right up. Yeah. There may be no alcohol here for him. Uh, return to Kingdom Breeze. Look for Kali. Yeah, I want to meet her, but I'm more interested in Albedo. Oh, it's far. Treehouse is here is nothing short of amazing. I have to write it down so I can tell Master Tainari all about it later. 
Should I tell her Amber hey, would her? Uh, oh, you scared me. Traveler and Paimon? You got invited here too? Before you. Yep. Well, they sort of skipped the invitation part, but anyway, what you doing out here? Something caught your eye? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to observe and summarize the structures of the trees here. And also the animals that live here. Hmm. Uh, well, the residents, I guess? I still can't get over the fact that they're all someone's origami handiwork. Once a forest ranger, always a forest ranger, huh? Not sure you'll be able to apply much of what you learn here back home, though. With this being a magical world and everything... What? Why are you sure? Over there, by the giant footprint. Have those houses always been there? Oh, what? those? The local flying squirrels told me that they were built by a small dragon and some guy wearing a hat. Oh, that must have been Minnie Durin and Hat Guy. Uh, any idea where they went? I need a better Supposedly, name, name, after building guy. the houses, they went to somewhere called, uh, Constellation Metropole? Did I say that right? Yep, you got it! Oh, also, when the locals mentioned the dragon, did they seem at all, uh... Did they say how they felt about him at all? Hmm, now that you mention it, the atmosphere changed a little when they talked about him. Oh no. They mentioned some stuff along the lines of past misunderstandings and welcoming new members. I only just got here, so I know very little about what has happened in the past. They seemed genuinely grateful for the houses, though, and said they were going to plan a welcome party. Oh, thank goodness. Mm. <sighs> Sounds like the forest has begun to accept him. It's a step in the right direction. We would Are you looking for, for that small party. dragon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a new friend we made after we arrived here. No way! Really? I'm getting more and more interested in your story. Uh, no, no, no. I've got to save it for next time. For now, I've got to make the most out of my time in this wonderful world. Oh, there's no rush. Just take it slow and enjoy yourself. Like Kaya! Oh, he sends his regards, by the way. Oh, Mr. Kaya is here too? Then I've got to go say hi to him. Well, right now he's at the tavern and he probably won't be leaving until he's drunk. But I don't Not think that he'll ever there. reach that point because his alcohol tolerance is so high. <laughs> Basically, it's Kaya. You know where to find him. <laughs> you make a good point, Paimon. Then I'll focus on exploring for now and go catch up with him later. Shall we go pay a visit to the Metropole Traveler? Maybe Minnie Durin and Hat Guy are still there. Oh, right. By the way, something pretty interesting has been happening in Sumero recently. Master Trinari has been working really hard on it, so if you have time, definitely go and check it out. What? Sounds good. We'll found some time in our schedule. What, what, where? Just Sumero. Not big at all. Take it easy. Enjoy your field trip. Of course. See you later. Okay, so I have to remember to look for Tainari afterwards. The origami squirrels rely on wind currents to lift their agile bodies and easily move between the trees. This has created a truly unique ecosystem. Oh, oh no. I'm running out of pages on my notebook. Oh, you found there were books or something around. Which houses? Houses? She looks over here and said the houses, didn't she? Or oh, that one. I, I don't remember if that, that one was there. Um, okay. Uh, here. Yeah, sure, it should be interesting in checking the. Oh, she's here too. The dragon. What? Uh, are my eyes deceiving me? Ah, it's her. There's no way. I can't believe uh, it. We never saw her. Hey, Mona! We heard you muttering from a long way away. What's up? Oh, is your scry glass acting up again? 
Oh, it's you, the saviors of this world. My scry glass is fine, but I'm not sure I can say the same about my eyes. Look. Look at this statue. What? Is it broken or something? Looks fine to Paimon. That's your master, right? A.K.A. the Goddess of Prophecy? Mm, I refuse to believe it. There's no way that old hag looks anything like this. Maybe she did when she was younger. When she was younger? Oh, actually, <laughs> now that you mention it, this does remind me of the fashionista phase she wrote about in her diary. <laughs> she can't hear me, can she? I swear I just got chills down my spine. Either way, it's probably a little rude to talk about her right under her statue. But how do you know it's a statue of her if you never saw her as a young woman? I did a quick scry when I came into this world. And when I saw the star's reflections, I was at a loss for words. It looks like fate in Simulanka is based directly on Tevat. A projection of real-world fate to form an image of reality. Or, in layman's terms, uh, basically, the creator made this world inside a mirror or a lake, and this world is the reflection. Still sounds pretty impressive. The more I scryed, the more familiar everything looked. It's her work, there's no doubt about it. Even so, everything's far more complex than I'd imagined. Trying to decipher it all is giving me quite a headache. I also ask the locals about her. They call her she who has dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. Not even a pretense of humility. Clearly, she let the role of creator goddess get to her head. Not that I'm surprised in the least, of course. It certainly matches the tone of her diary. <clears throat> anyway, we should change the topic. Oh, so Mona, have you seen a small dragon around by any chance? He's about the same size as Paimon, but with tiny little wings. Ah, you mean the one that caused all that trouble. I haven't seen him for myself, but I heard that he came to the Metropole not long ago to formally apologize for his actions. Apparently, he brought a huge stash of Toitanium and plant oil to make amends. Oh, Most people that. accepted his apology, although there are some who said that they'll reserve judgment until they've seen how he acts in the future. Oh, okay. Do you know where we can find him? One moment. Huh. Ah, it looks like he's at the broken oh, sea. Better. There's a big group of people with him, too. Cool! Wanna come with us? We can introduce you! Hmm... I think I'll sit this one out. This might be the closest I ever get to meeting the old hag in our youth, so... I think I'll spend some time seeing what else I can glean from her grand design. Uh, you guys have fun. Yeah, even so... Isn't kind of meeting a dragon kind of a big deal? It, it, there aren't that many around. Be careful, Mona. Thanks for your astrological assistance. What, what do you mean, be careful? Now you're making me nervous. We'll be off now. See you later, Mona. Creating a whole world starscape is no easy task. Old hag, I guess you do deserve the title of Trismegistus after all. But did she create it all to start? Then you say she probably made that inside a mirror or a lake or something. So the stars would already be there. Right? Okay, but where's Albedo and Clee? Uh, Does thou see you. what I am seeing? Tell me that my all-perceiving Aug de Verertelung deceiveth me not. Your eyes see true, main Fräulein. 
very well. Then, as sovereign ruler of the Imanakreish, I extend to you both my greetings, O oh, Night Dragon from the Land of the Thousand Stars and his hat-wearing servant. Who did you just call a servant? Yeah. What main Fräulein means to say is, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. You could tell her shut Pleasure up. to meet you too. <laughs> but Hat Guy's not my servant. He's my friend. <sighs> now you're over explaining. Hat Guy, Mini Durin! Found you at last. Whoa, and Fischl's with you too? <laughs> oh, greetings, Outlander, blessed by the Imanakreish. How honored you are to meet your princess in beneath the stars of another sky. Clearly a decision made by fate itself. I could say to me, Your Highness. No, it's great to see you. Okay. Yeah. That's the important one. Greetings. You both look well. Yeah, yeah, talk to Dory. Been having fun here. Yep, loads and loads of fun. There are so many cute animals and a magic train that was really long and a huge, huge castle and a king lives there and everything. I've been taking Klee to see all the sights. It's been a very enriching experience. Alice's magic is truly outstanding. Yeah, Mom. Amazing! Klee wants to build a great big house now, too! So... Your mom and my mom... were friends? Mm-hmm. Our moms were friends, which makes you my big brother! My mom used to read your mom's stories to me all the time. They were great! Um... Big brother? Is, aren't you cousin, like... Albedo? You're... Albedo's brother, actually. Wow! Thank you, Klee! Can I go play with Klee, hat guy? Suit yourself. Albedo! Albedo, can I? No, Albedo should talk to Dory. Uh, just don't go too far away. I'll come pick you up later. Yay! Come on, Mini Durin! Do you want to come play with us too, Fischl? <laughs> Your princess and accepts your invitation. <gasps> Rejoice! Though you may be concealed by fog, still you shall have the good fortune to witness the true might of the Aug de Vertelang. What Main Fräulein means to say is, perhaps we can all play hide and seek together. Main Fräulein is it. <laughs> Hooray! I love hide and seek! Oh, me too! I mean, will be hiding for way too long to enjoy that. To return to our previous discussion, uh. Mr. Hat Guy, you were telling me about a prophecy? I heard B talking to M. What she said was... Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. Okay, so he did hear that. Our child will one day rise from the dead. Mm. Uh, is she saying that Dragon Spine Durin will come back to life? Oh wait, okay, I... Okay, I got confused there, so... They aren't really... Brother. Because uh, Albedo is our child or, as well, right? He's Durin's brother. But then... M make this during to mimic ours during not I thought it was her own during the okay yeah okay uh, I I'm only shocked. heard it in a memory so don't hold me to it yeah, yeah understood it's gonna be true my recent observations at dragon spine lend credence to this prophecy as well hmm Durin's heart has slowly but surely been growing in vitality the process is extremely slow, but the trend is clear. Oh, cool. Uh, what should we do? Kill it again. To no, start no, maybe with, talk to it plan now. for every potential scenario. Including, of course, the worst case scenario. <sighs> I am well aware of Durin's past. 
and I sincerely hope that things never escalate to that point. Still, we need to be prepared for every possibility. If the prophecy is true, and Durin's heart will one day beat again, I'd like to hope that whatever rises from the dead is no evil dragon, if you understand what I mean. Kind of? But not really. No. Yeah. That was clear. And so, when the time comes, Mr. Hat Guy, Don't call me Mr. Hat Will you and Simulanka's Durin be willing to lend us a hand in our hour of need? Huh? What's this got to do with me? You saved the Durin of this world. I don't see that as a mere coincidence. If there is any meaning to be read into the actions of the three goddesses, beyond fairy tale whimsy alone, I can only boldly speculate that the fate of this reflected world may have a reciprocal effect upon our own world. If Durin of Dragonspine will soon come back to life, we will need many Durin's help, as well as yours, given that your fates are now intertwined. <sighs> well, that's a nuisance. To be sure, it certainly won't be easy. Albedo, Albedo! There's yeah. a flying also seem like keeper ship long. over there! Can we go see it together, please? Sure. Uh, two seconds, I'll be right with you. Please give my suggestion some thought, Mr. Hat Guy. Don't call Mr. Hat Guy. Sounds really weird really coming from him. Hat Guy, I'm back. Huh? What were you guys talking about? <sighs> Nothing. Huh? Okay then. Let's go join the others. Everyone's going to check out the new origami ship. All right. I'll be right there. Am I? Are you worried about Turing? Why would I be? Do I strike you as someone who cares about other people's issues? Yeah, now you do. Uh, now that he saves him like Turing, maybe he'll be synthetic to the Turing of our world. Quit trying to guess what I'm thinking. I'm leaving. Well, oh, okay, that, I, did I, okay, yeah, because I was reading that, Alberto was right, he needs time to think about it for himself. <laughs> Aww, what a lovely little boat! The forest fairy helped us make it! Pina just realized there's a lot fewer people around the broken sea now. Guess most of them have made their way back to the Metropole. Does this boat have a name? I can't see one anywhere. Mitoboru. Huh? A name? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every boat has a name. At least, all the ones I've seen before. They're usually symbolic names that represent something aspirational. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with the Durin. Huh? Yeah. You want to name it after me? Oh, you mean to wish Mini Durin a safe voyage as he sails into a new chapter of his life beyond this world? Your princess approves. Let this vessel bear the name of the most esteemed dragon of the night. The Durin. <laughs> Let's call it that then. Thank you, hat guy. Also, can I ask you a favor? Go on. Remember how Mom's friend said I should be able to leave this world? Well, I want to pay a visit to your world. Just a quick trip, can we? Huh? Oh, is... is that a no? I don't think that's a great idea. If the people of Simulanka are allowed to go to Tevat, there for a visit. It I'm assuming like I'll have to be your area. bodyguard while we're there. I... I can protect myself. And I'll do what you say. I won't fly off on my own, I promise. Please, can I go? 
You shouldn't need permission. It'll be up this. to you to stick close. If you disappear on me, don't expect me to come looking. Got it! I'll stick close! Why don't you take the Durin? Now you've given it a name, it'll be a maiden voyage for the boat and a brand new journey for you. Are you leaving, Mini Durin? Okay. Well, make sure you come visit me in Mondstadt so we can play together again. Klee will draw you a map to show you the way. Though our time together has been as fleeting as a ray of light in the depths of the long night, the Imanok Reich will welcome you with the grandest of music ceremonies on the occasion of our next reunion. As surely as the stars in the sky watch over us, we shall meet again. What Main Fräulein means is that you're always welcome to visit her at home as well. Cool! With a lower her oh, I have so many new friends now! I'm so happy! <sighs> Are you done yet? If you want to leave, then get over here. Take care. Yeah, but I thought Thank we you, would everyone. take Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much! The blessings you gave me are more precious than any treasure and more beautiful than any fairy tale. Next time, it will be my turn to make your wishes come true. Ah, uh, the dragon picture book. I clicked before it appeared. Ah. Uh. Where it was oh great Oh Okay better than teleport But uh there's something why don't you get back over here Ah takes me I thought this would take me outside but I wanted to know where Okay. Uh, you did say that. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even look all around. Yeah, but she did say that from here we could get out. I'd like to know where. To the back. Will you just open the map or am I at a specific place? Ah, look at the pages. Ah, oh, that's the angel share. Was this here all along? It's a weird corner for us to find casually. Oh, Tainari, let's uh, take a quick look at his uh, hometown. It is somewhere around Samara, so it would be tough to find him by chance. Yeah, but Kali did say for us to check up on him, and Paimo said we would. Uh, not... Okay, I call this house. Nobody. Here, yeah, nothing. Mm. 
yeah, it'll take a few days for me to complete everything on the map. So a check up online if Tainar is anywhere to be found. Uh, let's get back there. Mm, there's time. Let's continue. No. Let's get here first. And continue. Oh. Edit. Server. Ah! Ah, okay. <laughs> Such information. Ah, okay, so it's an actual quest, you know. Okay, I thought it was just some uh, optional dialogue in a random corner. I didn't know there was an actual quest. So let's stop. Let's try to stop sidetracking a little bit and continue with the other plot over there. I think that's the one with uh, Kirara. Oh, that was a bit higher than expected. Hmm, the party finds no pedestal in which to place the great clockwork key. Only a locked door. Where's your clan's pedestal? Oh, let me guess, you hid it away in advance to save yourself the embarrassment of having it exposed as a fake? You done? Okay. Now, since my clan's main claim to fame is... <laughs> Misinformation, half-truths, and fabrication. Ah, shut up, Cape! <laughs> shut, shut up, Cape! <laughs> I swear, if I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Bo Barano. Let those be my last words. <clears throat> my clan's claim to fame is that we outwitted the dragon of old and stole its treasure. Ergo, all articles of value that we own, including the pedestal for the clockwork key, lie behind that door. So, next step is... open the door? Almost. There's one step before that. The door is protected by a smart interrogation system. We have to answer its questions, and if we get them wrong, we will alert law enforcement. Jeez! Well, do you at least know the answers? The correction fluid of time has dyed white the pages of the Book of Wisdom. Uh, no. No, I don't know the answers. But worry not! I had a quick word with the constabulary in advance. They'll ignore the alarm if we get the questions wrong, so answer without fear! There's no response from the door and nothing unusual about it. Knock on the door. Question one! Who is it? Can I answer it wrong? Police open up. Uh, we're here for a routine inventory check in a smart key and uh, his routine. Police. That's actually quite an amusing approach. It's <laughs> probably not going to get us anywhere, but I do admire your sense of humor and your uh, commitment to it. Question one. Now there's commitment. Ah, what an ingenious idea. Far more intelligent than Boberano's ancestors. But I still recommend against this answer. Question one. The great yokai, Nekomata in boots. And the trusty travel guide, Pixie. A uh, travel guide. Trusty travel guide. Question two. By which virtue did the ancients defeat the dragon? Mm. Well... Courage is three. Let's go with the. No, oh, no, 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 don't say that. Even though the writings you saw do prove that bravery has its uses. Uh, you do realize we can hear everything you're saying, right? If you say it out loud, you'll only set those three off arguing again. Thinking it is fine, but please promise me you won't say it. Question two By which virtue did the ancient. Okay, hard work and wealth. To be completely honest, hard work is a bit of an alien concept to us here in the Constellation Metropole. We have hardware and we have clockwork, but not hard work. Question two. By which virtue did the... Please don't. If this is the right answer, I swear I'll... Correct! What? 
Uh, a barefaced lie. So low. Question three. Which is more real? The fiction of the outside world or the truth of this world? Uh, both are false, perhaps both are equally real. Well, I don't know is a correct answer. I'm saying that I don't know. That's a f that could be a fact. I, I think that, but I don't know for sure. Come on, you'll have to do better than that, kid. I mean, Traveller Marquis, you and your friends are the only ones who know the truth about us. Question three. Can the others Which is you? more real? The uh, both are false. <sighs> Please try to avoid being unnecessarily cruel in your response. Question three. Everything's Which meaningless. Whereas both are equally here, real. Here. Who can be sure that the outside world isn't just a dream? And that when the dreamer wakes up, they won't just find themselves inside a novel? There is no way to know. Therefore, both are equally real. All correct. You may have the key pedestal. There are opens that are put smoke with salt and Traveler smoke. Traveler Marquis, blah, blah, blah. you know what must be done. Please insert the great clockwork key. Oh, and uh, this is my family crest. Uh, okay. Please don't. I didn't pay attention to the first one. What was the name of the first one? Was it power or coverage? Uh, where does it start? Ah, uh, okay, the order will be... Hmm, do we really need this one? Okay, we don't need them all. So, okay. Yeah, them all. Let me see what what elaborate fiction the clan of wisdom was able to conjure up. If anyone's listening, I would like to submit these as my last words. I surrender. I'm the one who murdered Tappe. <laughs> uh wise Antonio in the basement of the crumbling house began reading the ancient book he had found. His our lamp shook from time to time as the swaying structure above ground collapsed. The village was to be symbolically raised by the dragon, and he had been chosen by the dragon, for he had not returned home. But Antonio did not care. He only wished to study the book the old lady had given him on the bridge he passed today. This book was titled The Radiant Ch Chatter. Uh, no, that's lo longer than an H. Radiant. And there's something. Is the space redacted? Radiant chapter. Charter. Uh, and within was... Recorded. Okay, all the rules that every... Being in Simulanka must follow. It was written in the language of world's creation at the very start, and if Antonio was not possessed of extraordinary reason in deciphered this primordial text, there would have been no study to be had. This book recorded no solutions as to resolve the difficulty that constellation satellite presently faced, nor did it contain any hexes that could aid Antonio in repairing his own home. But he knew that wisdom was the mightiest thing in the world. The morning light shone through the ruins of his home, and the neighboring blacksmith and chubby chief took the great pains to to great pains to get rid of the house's wreckage wreckage, which blocks the basement hatch. Uh, with dark circles about his eyes, Antonio said to the chubby chief, 
I shall defeat the dragon, I'll return soon. Are you sure you're alright? You don't look like you got any sleep. Just smoke from your lamp, don't worry about it. Uh, the dragon sat upon a mountain of treasures, grazing, gazing down at insignificant ta little Antonio, walking closer. Flames gathered in, his, in its throat, preparing to burn the area one centimeter before him. All the better to scare this funny foolish creature away. Halt! I am a qualified second class master. The Radiant Charter? Um, so that was an age. States, and it was on a space that was redacted. The Radiant Charter states that should I refuse a duel, you cannot use force. This restriction did not indeed exist, so, and so the wicked dragon swallowed its flames whole. Uh, did indeed exist. Okay. Uh, how it dreaded going to the toilet tomorrow. <laughs> Antonio for his part had not expected that the second class rust clearing master qualification exam he had taken on a lark would come in useful. This is I am a second class master, I propose a duel of riddles. You cannot refuse. Why 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 could you refuse the duel and he can't refuse the duel? Now Simlog had just such a law, mainly for the benefit of sphinxes, old sages, and princesses who wish to make life hard for others. The evil dragon had not expected this rule to catch up with it. I shall ask my first question. My house sold for 8,000 more yesterday, but I thought there was room to raise the price, so I bought it back for 9,000, planning to sell it for 10,000. How much more did I lose in the end? The dragon left in contempt. What's so hard about that? You could have waited until you hit 10,000 to make your move. But you sold for 8, but for 9, so you lost a thousand more that you could have earned instead. That's long. Wrong. You burned my house down yesterday and I couldn't sell it any time, so I lost far more. Uh, sorry, I mean. I do have to burn a house, and you happen not to be home, so I might as well hear one that doesn't result in a loss of life. Now that you've lost this contest, I had the right to loot the same value. I have the right to loot the same value as your your life minus one more. Huh? Now that you've lost this contest. I have the right to loot the same value as your life, minus one more. Why? And considering that you've burned my house, I can seek damages. Let's assume that my house is worth just one more. Well then, Wicked Dragon, you know what to do with yourself. What? I, I got lost in the logic. Or just the 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 law please spare me i'll give you anything your words not mine antonio said as he pulled out a contract he had written long ago thus did antonio use his wisdom to take all the evil dragon's treasures the dragon devastated would never again return to attack constellation satellite where antonio lived uh, many years later a child asked antonio you saw your place for uh, 8,000 and you spend 9,000 buying it back. So it looks like you actually did lose a uh, thousand more. But then he sold for 10,000. He was going to sell for 10,000, wasn't he? Then you would make up for the more he lost. Ah. History is true as well! Ah, there's that same unforgeable signature again, right here! What? Oh, does this mean that my clan is the only odd one out? Given that my clan's wisdom is such a subject of ridicule in your eyes, I will now appeal to my own personal intelligence, which I believe far surpasses that of my clan at large, and make a prediction. 
It seems likely that the claims made by each of our clans regarding their history and virtue are all true. Boberano? How can that be? Oh, I get what's going on. Once, when I was drinking with Guji Yai, she bet me a round of dried fish that I couldn't guess which cup the umeboshi was under. Whichever one I guessed, I was always wrong, and Guji Yai would lift a different cup to reveal the umeboshi. But then, I learned later from one of the shrine maidens, Miyuki, that all of the cups had an umeboshi under them. <sighs> Just goes to show, I still got a long way to go before I become a great yokai. Oh, don't mind Fox Lady, that's just her way of teasing you. Actually, that reminds me. We can now open these three treasure chests. And unlike the guessing game you mentioned, this one's not a trick. Cool. Well, once you've plundered the last of Boberano's family wealth, we can go to my clan's place. Guess I'll take the clockwork key again then. Yoink! A stroke of good luck, and a very welcome one. Okay, where to now? Uh, it's nearby, but above. But they did say this is a different dragon, right? Not during. Oh, yeah, actually, this place is supposed to mirror Tivat, but this during it causes damages, but it never hurts anybody. The during was actually evil and throwing poison around and killing people, wasn't it? So many giant guards. Hmm. The cohort of truth seekers followed Albizzi to his clan's sacred site. They arrived to the site of a giant guard towering over them. Up ahead is my clan's gigantified guard. He can be a little pig-headed, and he's incredibly strong. Your weapons won't even scratch him. Wait, but wasn't Cape's clan the one that's all about strength? So, what do you guys believe in then? Oh, the guard is one of Cape's people. Size is a coveted mm. trait in the clan of strength, after all. Mine is the clan of empathy, and our key contribution is... Growth Serum! Mm. What's empathetic about that? Yeah. Our ancestors believed that, just maybe, the dragon of old didn't mean us any harm at all. Perhaps mm. the dragon simply didn't notice us, since we are so very tiny. So, they drank the growth serum and grew even larger than the dragon. Then, they set the dragon down, calmly explained their perspective, and eventually taught it how to empathize. Uh... What happened to the dragon? The serum isn't Jason what it once was, though. It. Nowadays, it doesn't make you grow all that much, and it actually makes you lose your empathy. So, I advise uh -huh. we take a detour. Despite Albizzi's words of caution, somebody, no doubt, has other ideas. Surely we could avoid a conflict with the guard, they think to themselves. If we could just try to understand one another. You could, of course, just take the path to your left and go around. But some people are gluttons for punishment. It's all part of the experience, I suppose. So I have two paths. Everyone, I have returned. I come with the long-awaited Marquis and their hey, followers thanks. to search for the lost origins of our clan. Well, we weren't told anything about that this morning. Get out of here. Leave us alone. The giant guard scoop the wall and throw it outside. No one is able to fight back. <sighs> you and Albizzi only wanted to strike up a conversation with the guard. But since greeting you wasn't one of the items included in today's schedule, the relationship quickly soured. 
If you're just looking for a way in, why not consider taking the path on your left? Yeah, yeah, let's see if there's something different. Everyone! Yeah. I have returned! I come... Well, we weren't told anything about that. This is a special place for his clan, but it's not like his house or anything, right? <sighs> you and Albizzi only wanted to strike up a conversation with the guard. Left. But since greeting you wasn't one of the items included okay, in today's schedule, the relationship quickly soured. If you're just looking for a way in, why not consider taking the path on your left? Why is my own clan treating me like a villain? You've been away too long. We all have. Feels like we've been waiting forever. Breaking box. We should be getting close. Why is this place so full of junk? Are you the kind of people who never throw away the box when you buy something because you're worried you won't be able to return it without the original packaging? Uh, yeah, there's no we'll way. Never I find the Oracle them. pillars in all this mess. Never mind that, we have a more pressing issue. It seems there's a slight problem with my clan's family crest. The Marquis may need to utilize their wisdom to solve the issue. What? Uh... Okay, it's not bad and readable. Wisdom too, huh? Well, you guys have a bit of everything, don't you? Except empathy. Okay, now I want to alert the guards. I'll, uh, I'll go keep watch. Can't you destroy the boxes a little more quietly? Isn't there more boxes? I want to break more boxes. Oh, we're done. Okay, so again, I won't need them all. Uh, where... What? Uh, can I see that again? It was... So... Okay, I think it's here. Alright. This is the last one. Galileo and Alberto did many good deeds again today, though it was most daring to help the old lady on the bridge move her barrels of her apple cider. I don't remember, that was an old lady in the first one as well, yesterday. Uh, they each got a small barrel as a reward. The moonlight was unobstructed and beautiful, and the two good friends climbed up the high wall that had been built to stave off the evil dragon. To save the evil dragon off. But don't the dragon fly over the wall? Alberto lost track, lost the rock, paper, scissors match, so he had to hold the barrel of cider under the crook of his arm as they climbed the ladder. They each got a small barrel. So, don't. Shouldn't he hold both barrels since he lost the match or something? You look, this is the big house that our chef chief was so proud of. This looks so big from here, huh? Said Alberto. As he looked at the house, you're wrong, that's my home, said Galileo. The chief's home is that one. Alberto's night vision was not all that good, and moonlight could never compare to daylight. If one were to close one's eyes, the light could not be seen at all. Yet, that's what happens when you close your eyes. He tried a little harder, but could discern nothing more. But it's also really small, Galileo continued. So there's nothing wrong with your statement. Galileo and Alberto were both very perceptive people. Galileo's reply covered for Alberto's Cisco, Cisco fort. 
I think that's supposed to be D. Uh, regarding his provision. While Alberto also lost the rock, paper, scissors match on purpose so that he could carry the cider barrel because the gears under Galileo's ribs were injured. Yeah, but there are two barrels, each got one. Here's to you. The. Uh, how do you lose rock, paper, scissors on purpose? Uh, here's to you. The two friends raised a toast once Alberto stuff. Hang on, aren't their hands like that? How do they play rock, paper, scissors? Uh, the two friends raised the toast once Alberto stuffed a cork back into the barrel. Um, the next day, the two gathered everyone in the village plaza. Uh, first, they apologized for the collapse of the anti-dragon wall and told all the people that they were preparing to have a talk with the evil dragon. I know it was a lot of work for everyone to fix the wall, but we are not that fussed about it anyway, the chief said. But are you sure you're... You're not bragging when you say you knock it down yourselves. Of course, that was not the chief's point. He too was a good person. He continued. Also, it's too dangerous to seek the dragon out. Don't worry about us. And also, the two best friends. And so, the two best friends in the whole world departed. The evil dragon trembled before Alberto and Galileo. For some reason, the old lady's liquor could make people grow very, very large. That was how they accidentally squashed the high walls the previous night. As they gazed down, ah, that's why the house was so small. That was how they accidentally squashed the high wall. As they gazed down at the ground far below, they, they more or less understood how the dragon thought. No wonder it could accidentally destroy the village at its feet. So as long as they could get the dragon to notice people, they could surely come to understanding. Two friends thus drank all the remaining magic cider, becoming even larger than the dragon by a good margin, reeking of alcohol. They sandwiched the dragon between them and drunkenly tried reasoning with him with it. Why some parts are redacted? In just tiny parts. Am I supposed to get those words those missing and and see what they make up. Uh, the dragon shriveled up in terror. Uh, all of its majesty and fell aura forever gone indeed. It even looked kind of pitiful. Alberto attempted to pick dirt off the scales on the dragon's back but wound up picking up an entire scale. The dragon sought to flee. Come on, they're just children guy accidentally being mean to a dragon. The Galileo fearing that the crisis might persist for 10,000 years more if the misunderstanding was not cleared up, took its tail and dragged it right back. To be honest, we've always lived under your feet, but we are far too small, so you may not ever have ever seen us. Now we've transformed and become bird big, Galileo said. So now surely you must know that we dwell at your feet. The dragon nodded repeatedly, and thus did the two and the dragon chat all night. Okay. And believing the goal of mutual understanding, achieved the two set off along the road home. And so is AA. Who is AA? The, the narrator. So it's true. Empathy is one of the founding virtues of Constellation Metropole too. Just as we suspected, all three are the truth. Uh, uh, okay. Well, this is a lot to process. I feel a little empty inside. <laughs> yes, we found the truth, but there's too much truth. I get you. It's like in Inazuma, when there were only six books in the Mirage Warrior series, it was really popular. But by the time book number 88 came out, nobody wanted to read it. They all lost interest. 
A brief moment of joy is drowned out by a growing feeling of melancholy. But perhaps there is a glimmer of hope to be found too? Anyone? Anyone? All right, I'll say it. How is it the case that these three versions of history can all be true at once? That's exactly what Paimon was wondering, but Boborano kind of already explained it away earlier. So Paimon was worried she'd look stupid for asking the question. <laughs> It's not a stupid question at all, my dear little pixie. While I did postulate that different truths may coexist, there is an issue when it comes to these three truths in particular. The problem is, all three truths are the history of the exact same thing, namely the dragon and the metropole's origins. Yet all three bear the signature, showing that they're genuine. Well? Suddenly, the sound of a bell rings out. The bell! It rang once! What does that mean again? Ah, yes! Highest level of emergency! Everyone to the main entrance! Stat! Bring all the glue traps and place them outside the gates! The whole city is on the lookout and there's only one way out. It's the path right in front of you. Yeah, that's not what I'm going for. Now. Hey! Why'd they ring the bell anyway? Also, why is one ring the highest level of emergency? Obviously because you have to respond fast when it's an emergency. It'd be a bit too late if they waited till the 99th ring. Is there an emergency that should be constantly ringing? Suspicious individuals detected! I don't know what law you've broken, but we're currently at the highest level of alert. Come with us. Turn yourselves in. Never scatters. You hear Kappa's voice shouting out. They're me for himself. After the guys have gone, you go back to the same place. It looks like no one was caught. Let's try that again, shall we? I'm bored. Nobody got out. Oh. The bell! It rang once! What does that mean again? Ah, yes! Highest level of emergency! Everyone to the main entrance! Come Stop! On. Bring all the glue traps and yeah, place them outside the gates. The, far. the whole city is on the lookout, and there's only one Messing way up. out. It's the path. Being right able in to skip you. that. What's the bell? Why'd they ring the bell anyway? Oh. Also, why is one more. ring the highest level of emergency? Obviously, because you have to respond fast when it's an emergency. It'd be a bit too late if they waited till the 99th ring. Can I ring? Solidify. No. Obviously, what happens when I They're outside. touch that? After them. Oh, okay, they're coming. Okay, but let's step on one. This what happens. Ah, it's no big deal. I can probably go for them all. further and we'll be outside our jurisdiction hmm. i think we've pursued them far enough to earn a salary from the empathy clan come on let's head back <laughs> uh. <sighs> <sighs> we made it out don't know if we'll still be needing this clockwork key but i yoinked it out before we ran just in case mm. okay Good. but back to the truth problem there are three conflicting versions of the truth, and somehow they're all still true. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I doubt anyone here in Simulanka can make sense of it. All we do know is that any manuscript bearing her signature has to be valid. Mm. Well, she is the goddess of fate, the creator of all this. 
And all these manuscripts are her grand design. The reason we argued about who was right was that we didn't know enough about the truth of the past. But now we have the truth. So we just have to accept it. As surely as we will follow the clockwork path designed for us, so is this the course that history has taken. It is clear and incontrovertible. We will never argue again. Ah, <sighs> thank you all. Is that all there is to it? Is this where the decision made at the first crossroads of destiny has led us to? A pointlessly happy ending? Mm. Well, I was thinking it would be equally pointless. Well, that's enough for one day. Time to take a break. Could you be any more cryptic? You're planning something! Paima knows it! Whatever happens, today was a breakthrough in my journey of discovery. I will go back and share it with my clan. Me too. And me. And you? Let's leave it there for today then. I'm sure we'll find out what else Mr. Narrator has planned for us tomorrow. Okay, wait until tomorrow. Eight. What a beautiful day, thought the traveler before he was overcome by a creeping sense of foreboding. Hmm. The voice in his head grew louder. Must go to Pendulum Lane. Something appears to have happened Lane ahead. Is just up ahead. Something must have happened here after all. Everyone's crowded around. Mm. Oh my god, this is terrible. I don't understand. The three great clans of Constellation Metropole have finally made peace with each other. Who could have done this? Is this a murder scene? What happened? Oh no, someone's lying on the ground. Cappy! How did this happen? Cappy, you idiot! Wake up! You need to revise your last words or everyone's <laughs> gonna start suspecting me! He was Bubba Last words? What did he say? Ahem. <laughs> if I wind up dead one day, the murderer was Boborano. Ugh, you could have at least pretended to not remember it. I'm sorry, Boborano, but this is an interrogation. I have to give the detective straight answers. Ah, don't worry, Boborano. I don't consider you a suspect, nor do I have the authority to charge anyone with a crime. So are you the last people to have had contact with him? I don't know what's been. It could have been a whole day. But what does the detective does here if it doesn't can charge anybody with a crime? Yes. My sincere condolences. You were travel companions, right? It's a real tragedy. You look a bit I'm angry. afraid he'll be out cold for another hour and a half at least. Oh. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's despicable. Hitting someone in the back of the head is the second worst act of cruelty there is. The first being replacing their gear oil with <laughs> extra strong glue. Wow, so how can they come back from Cappy's that first one? Not dead? Uh, his gears, metal frame, and shell are all still in excellent condition. It's just his uh, energy supply that's been all messed up. Ah, uh, wait. But surely you can't be suggesting that just because Cape isn't broken, there's no need to go looking for the culprit. No, no! There's a need! Huge need! Unfortunately, this is rapidly turning into a cold case. There's no evidence and no witnesses. Uh, unless there's an official clockwork pedestal, the goddess of prophecy around here somewhere. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Then suddenly, the long lost dragon of old flew across the sky. Where? Where? Uh, I didn't see anything. Wait, why can't I move? Uh, my mistake. It was just a cloud. Or a bird. Something. Mm. If only we could turn time backwards and replay the crime. Uh, who is this narrator? Isn't that one of those, uh, clockwork socket things right behind you? Ah, so it is. 
No it wonder everyone here is suddenly struggling to move. Uh, traveller, if you please, let's uh, recreate the crime scene. Um, this world is not really inhabited by people like us. And everybody gets frozen when they get near one of those and there's a situation. How do you turn that? Okay, let's return to the thing and just see play out. Time seems too chaotic. I can't make heads or tails of it. Okay, they just met up. Just fell for no reason. And they didn't even notice. Okay, my objective is to watch these three repeat itself. So, that's what's going on. Well, All that right. clears it up. Cape was walking along the street, then he suddenly collapsed. He was faking it. He was? What? So, case closed? Investigate a little more first? But he's, he's still we literally taking... replayed the crime scene and saw it with our own eyes. There's no need for any evidence gathering or powers of deduction now. And besides, maybe the truth is inherently strange by nature. Like how Constellation Metropole has three histories, each of which is the truth. I didn't know that but already. Didn't you say Cape was struck in the back of the head and knocked unconscious? For all I know, he could have bashed his head against the toilet bowl before leaving the house, then walked here in a daze before finally passing out. As for why he might have done that, my guess is... Is... He couldn't bear the truth. He couldn't handle With the truth. With the Supreme Clan question left unanswered and the tension in Constellation Metropole suddenly wiped away, he was looking to create a new source of conflict. Only then would the city feel alive again. Uh, do we really think he's capable of that, though? Sounds like a pretty complicated conspiracy for the average Simulanka resident. Traveler, on, something about the crime scene isn't sitting right with me. It just seems unnatural. Also, anything outside of the immediate area won't have appeared in the replay. Uh. Is it possible that something was missing from the scene? Why don't we search the area? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, we're... Uh, we're gonna head to Cape's house to check the toilet bowl for signs of an impact. Hmm. Oh, there's a plane of places. What? Why can my spear go? What? Hello there! Uh, have you seen my spear by any chance? Someone was shouting about a dragon a minute ago, and I instinctively <laughs> threw it into the sky. Yeah. Not dangerous at all. Okay, but he's not stabbed in the head, so... There wasn't There's a it. spear here! It looks so mysterious. Let's take it! I can return it. Hmm. What's up? Hey, you're, uh, you're not from these parts, are you? Just visiting? Yep, that's right. Why? What's up? Ah, well, I was going to offer you a great job in the Titanium Mines. A safe and secure working environment. Uh, doesn't sound very safe. Uh, at least not as safe as being a courier. Come on, get to keep the Titanium ore intact, we use specially designed pickaxes that can't cut through it. Even if you struck a person with it, it wouldn't so much as leave a scratch. 
And in terms of labor intensity, the work has been rated as class two physical labor by a reputable organization. Even cats can do it. I'm not. A... Hmm. <sighs> Never mind. I give up. Welcome to Paimon's world. Hmm. Mind you, I but don't know what, what happened Paimon? today, but somehow she doesn't the cat has gone missing. Maybe one of the giant guards broke it down, so someone took it to perform a rapid resuscitation procedure. Sounds pretty brutal for a first aid technique. Still, a missing pickaxe. Huh. Is it just me, Traveler, or does it seem kind of suspicious? I did find the pickaxe going downstairs to the pier, but I... I'm not sure that's the thing they're looking for here. Come here. But whatever it is you were looking to buy, please do come back tomorrow. It's just, I have to close early today. A bottle of growth serum has gone missing. Mm. If someone's stolen it with the intention of harming others, the consequences could be disastrous. There's a whole investigation into it, it, so I gotta close the shop while I do an inventory count. If it turns out I'm wrong and I miscounted, I could be charged with filing a false report and disturbing the peace. Aren't you selling Grossero? Gain some by buy it. There's a strange potion bottle here. With the intention of harming That's others. So weird. Let's take it. Uh, what's your pickaxe? Uh. A pickaxe? What is it doing all the way down here? There's gotta be a story behind it. Let's take it. I've solved the case. I... I'm not really thinking about it, actually. Let's say one of these was the weapon used in the assault. Which one do you think it is? The guy's spear is probably wrong. If so, there's no way his head would still be in such good shape. Yeah. He'd have a big dent in the back. And if no, the guard is to be hole in the back. he had the spear in his possession right up until that guy shouted about the dragon. Let's say no one of the these was the weapon the used in the assault. That's not Which one do you wrong. think it is? The pickaxe should be safe, right? If it was the pickaxe, Cape sure is lucky it's not still lodged in his head. Actually, you're wrong there, Paimon. The foreman at the mine was just saying, this kind of pickaxe is designed not to damage titanium, so it couldn't cause any superficial damage to residents here. But you could probably knock oh. someone out if you hit them hard you enough. Could. And it wouldn't leave a scratch. Let's take this back to the crime scene and replay mm. it one more time. I thought I, this could actually not ah, be the back. thing. That was a toilet at Cape's house. Toilet? What about it? Oh, oh, yeah, um, forget that. Oh, I didn't get the other one. What's this about? What are you trying to say? That's somebody we thought the way Cape fell was odd, so we searched the area for suspicious around. items and found this. It could have been deliberately placed out of range of the crime scene so it wouldn't show up when we replayed it. Now we've retrieved it, we were gonna replay it again. You don't mind, do you? But if it oh, makes... Uh, I, I just remembered I forgot to turn off the clockwork switch in my kitchen. Yeah, I think I'll just... Uh... Oh no, <laughs> you stay right there! Uh... I can't really move. So it was effective. Uh, but if it's gonna make its way back, shouldn't it make its way back until... It got out of here, where we got it. We should be good now. Oh, you made it a boomerang thing. Why is it just coming here and going around? Uh, if we're replaying this, I already heard of him again and again. Huh. 
No, stop. No, it's going too much. It goes back all the way back to the beginning. I thought it would go just a little bit. Why don't you see him throw again? I think it, it was an accident. I don't know why he had that, but... I'm not sure if it was the next thing. Did he ricochet over there? Or he intentionally Don't threw like a boomerang? Like well. So, it was you! <laughs> okay, it was. Uh, I will congratulate you for cracking the case, but since I did such an abysmal job of covering my tracks, didn't exactly have your work cut out for you. So, all I can say is... Is... Catch me if you can! Mm, are you all supposed to still be frozen while that guy is unconscious on the ground? That's it! Let me at him! The would-be Marquis of Carabas dispatched the Necromata in boots who ran off in pursuit of the poor little minion. I didn't know she could do that. I play with Kirara, I use her till she got to maximum friendship. I didn't know she could do that. The minion's poor little lower back was protesting painfully against the intense physical activity. He decided to take the elevator, giving him a moment to catch his breath. Really? His lower back asked. But the minion had no other choice. He resolved to make the jump down. By this point, the Necromata in boots was gasping for air. The minion was huffing and puffing even more loudly. But, uh, we'll ignore that. I'm not! Don't underestimate the gold-level courier of the Comania Express! Does this get us in the way? A characteristically catty response from the Neko Mata. Tell me, what do you hope to gain from no. bullying me? Ha-ha! <laughs> you fell into my trap! Oh, and uh, by the way, remember the uh, glue you got stuck on when you first entered the future Marquis abode to be? That was also me. I did it using my powers. Hmm. Rats! Oh, I'm so jealous of you guys right now. You can just jump out of your shoes and keep running, but I... Wait, I'm wearing boots this time. Yes! No, you're not. Why everybody keeps saying she's wearing the boots? The unnamed minion made a last-ditch escape attempt. He began his long, crawl, long, long crime, climb, sorry, up the wall, the, the tall, the tall wall. He began his long climb up the tall wall. Do you call that a tall wall? In urgent Neko parcel mode, I'll scale it in no time. Beat. I surrender. Why did he... The killer detective, but he... The guy isn't really dead. You've got nowhere left to run! Why did he tell us to go right. there? I confess. That was fast. Getting caught by you here was a backup plan. I don't know if what I've done will make things better or not. Time to come clean. I am the narrator. The one who's been guiding you all this time. That's shock, man. Mine is blown. Yeah, but I want to know how were you speaking without we ever seeing you. You're overdoing it a little bit there. 
Hmm. Anyway, I only did what I did because... Why are you suddenly spilling the beans? I Man. poured my heart and soul into all this. I was worried you wouldn't ask. The truth is, I was one of the first conscious beings ever made by the goddess of creation. Hmm. And I've known for a long time that this whole world is just a fairy tale written by the goddess of fate. Hmm. I know they say that fairy tales are just made up for kids to read. But I refuse to believe that fairy tales um, are just fictional stories and nothing more. The, the reason why Constellation Metropole has three origin stories is that the Goddess of Fate wrote three drafts and couldn't decide which one she liked best. Uh. Then her cat trod all over them and they all got crumpled <laughs> together, so the three worlds just sort of folded into one. Mm. The Goddess of Fate was torn between them anyway, since she couldn't decide which ending was best for the dragon or the kids. So when she saw what the cat had done, she simply decided to go with all three. Who'd have thought? But what does any of this have to do with what you did? But how is it written? You're not a fictional book? character, so you couldn't hope to understand my sorrow. Honestly, I don't think there's anyone in all of Simulanka who would understand. Every day that I experience, every interaction I have with another person, is it really all just a work of fiction? The only reason the three great clans wanted to find out the truth was for the pointless task of electing the Supreme Clan. I thought that once they'd learned the truth, it might make them curious enough to investigate further. But as it turned out, they just... accepted it, and carried on living the same old lives. I have to motivate them to keep looking for answers, now that they think they've learned the truth. I have to make them uncomfortable with the superficial explanation that they took at face value. And I have to figure out, once and for all, while you real people from the outside world are still here, are we real? Aww. That's my full confession. Time for you to take me back. I'm guessing I'll probably be forced to make a public apology, <laughs> then sentenced to half a day in solitary confinement. <laughs> I definitely deserve half a day. Oh, also... They leave Pass this message on to Cafe uh, Boberano forever. and Albizzi, if you could. The Great Clockwork Key was originally put in place jointly by the ancestors of the three clans. If the three of them had any ability to cooperate whatsoever, they'd have been able to remove it by themselves. Over all these years, not once have they ever tried removing it together. Oh, my poor child. There's one thing you've been mistaken about this whole time. Detective? Was that you? Your voice acting's actually pretty good. The reason fairy tales are suitable for children is that they help them to understand the world. Fairy tales may be works of fiction, but at their heart lies an internal logic that is undoubtedly real-world truth in a condensed form. Perhaps they simplify good and evil, and perhaps they hide the darkness in metaphors. But let there be no doubt. The world within fairy tales is as real as can be, and by extension, you and your compatriots are also real. Goddess! Is it really you? The line that separates footnotes from narrative can never be crossed. Never the two shall meet. This is why you have never heard my voice before. But now you wish to break free from the story. And there's a cat nearby, so you can hear my echo. What? Oh. Echo Mora! Just... <laughs> your echo? Oh, poor detective. So, we are a part of the real world too. You lead the surrender detective back to Cape. Oh, so we need a shoot a shot of the crime scene for evidence, a mugshot of the suspect for the records, and a photo of the heroes for posteriority. The guard mode it over. Three photos you know. so overkill, let's just get one big group photo at the same crime scene. Suspects try to look more serious, here's more natural, please, happy smiles, 
but no smiling from the victim or their friends and family. Thank you. No, no, don't get up. Stay on the ground. We need to capture the crime scene as is. Three, two, one, say cheese. <laughs> We're just photo experience of my life. Spinning. Albizzi just gave me a quick rundown of the situation. So you caught the detective? Sorta. We chased him until he surrendered. Oh, and he asked us to pass on a message. You tell the three about the rest of what happened, and that they could have removed the great clockwork key. They just does he really think we didn't together? try that? Cause we did. After six months in that place. Ah, that was my bad. I thought it was a stupid idea at the time, so I didn't really exert myself. I, uh... I also sort of stopped trying after three years. What are you... <sighs> Never mind. I'm partly to blame as well. On the second attempt, I just hugged the key and pretended like I was pulling as hard as I could. Uh, you guys are so lazy. My granny's neighbor's pet cat has nothing on you, and it spends all day, every day, sunbathing. Uh, it's just a cat. It was written anyway, dog. Uh, you said you heard the voice of the goddess of fate at the end? That's amazing. There is a world beyond our own, after all. What would you guys say to taking a trip to the outside world sometime? Otherwise, I got bashed in the back of the head for nothing. Depends. Do either of you know how to get there? But yes, I agree we should go. And not invite the detective, just to annoy him. <laughs> but maybe the reason we've never worried about whether we're real or not is that, unlike him, we weren't there to witness the creation of this world. We've never had any reason to doubt that we're real. If someone ever convinced me that these delightful dimwits, Cape and Albizzi weren't real, oh, I'd be devastated. <laughs> <sighs> So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this place will be unreachable after the event, but I I think we'll still meet some of them in other events in the future without having to come back here. Okay, uh, two days later. the back oh wait no you're not uh. well if it isn't the marquee of Carabas along with his cat and little fairy uh, I think you should probably start this now surely it's time that Inz and I drop these rolls in theory it should be all over now but I remember hearing that the point of this ceremony was to help people transition from one mental state to another to be fair to the title of Market of Carabas once and for all, you can bring things to a close with a touch of formality. As the Nekomata bids farewell to her boots, uh, through the reflection, are we wiser to the nature of the truth? Just... 
Okay. Great. Okay, there's nobody joining. She started to. What? Come on, that was too fast. I start to what? No, it isn't working. Ah, oh, same thing. Why did I have to wait two days to just put that back there? I thought there would be something else here. Okay, so now this quest is complete. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Next time I think I'll go to this Sumer. Let me see where it is so I avoid the place. Okay, I have to avoid that. I hope I won't get any uh, quests over here. There is... Yeah, I should actually mark to have quests elsewhere. Because sometimes there's somebody that... I want to say... wants a, an apple up here. And I want to avoid that too next time I play. Because I'm pretty sure that will start once I'm walking nearby. Uh, no, let's try to get one Navia. No. A duel uh, is a battle. Do I have. Uh, ah, just that. I thought there was something here. No, but there's two. I oh, want you get that. Wills. And uh, all right. Sword yeah. An extension of the duelists. Okay, the two. Let me see. Fertile voyage. Okay, the stories. Okay. Ah, the two. Ah, the rich footnotes. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. Just that one now. Actually, I didn't pay attention to the name. Actually. An odd textual mystery. Yeah, that doesn't help with the name. Uh, and those are forgetting the uh, the figurines and the excerpts of this. All right. Yeah, that's a cooler outfit that I'll keep on her towards. Not that I'll probably ever use her again. If I'm not forced to. So I had her three. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I guess before starting those, continue those challenges because I did one. Uh, I'll check if your those, heart recoils those quests before mm -hmm. all right all right yeah i guess that's it for today so i'm off